You're listening to The Voice. IWA Flip here on Interfed Radio. Welcome to Living Nightmare After Hour. With me in studios, the new commissioner of the Living Nightmare League, Brandon Madden. Brandon, welcome. Uh, thank you. Good to be here. Oh, man. You know what? Uh, don't mind the screams and uh, yells in the background. Commissioner Pratt is still alive. He's, uh, I, I, I guess okay is not the word to use, but, uh, no, not, not okay, but, uh, just getting comfortable to his new surroundings. Yeah, he'll, he'll be fine. It's the perfect time for, uh, Commissioner Pratt to kind of, uh, find, find some, uh, peace. <laughs> find some peace. <laughs> Oh man! You know what? I think this was the perfect time for uh, for a change, and uh, I think the way you guys, uh, you know, just the way it came to be is just still. I, I when I was going through it, I'm like, "Wow, what's going on here?" Like, no, where's Commissioner Pratt going? And uh, you know, for all our living nightmare fans, uh, you know, you know, rest assured that. The league is in good hands, and uh, I think we saw with uh, the reveal of the Bronze Age, with uh, with everything else going on in Bronze. I think this is definitely going to be a, a fun time and a fun era here in uh, in the Bronze. And uh, you got a lot planned for the Living Nightmare League, sir. I, I like I said, I don't want to reveal too much, but uh, we'll get into some of the madness. Yeah, you know, it's uh, I'm excited. This will be my first uh, run as a commissioner. I mean, I've helped out some other commissioners in the past, so it's not really a huge transition, but it's definitely uh, something I'm looking forward to. We kind of started talking about this earlier in the year, and just with, like, schedules and everything, it just didn't work out to where we could do it that quick. But now everything's out of the way, and it's time. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, that – uh that transition i mean it, it's it's still in the back of my head i mean I, I feel bad for the pale man i feel bad for uh the fans of the pale man i mean you know but we got we got enough uh enough coming that you know i and i, I guess now is probably you know as good a time as any to you know reveal that you know living nightmare league uh has uh initiated its uh, facebook uh page so we do have a facebook group dedicated to the living nightmare league um I wish there was an easier way to, to to find a Facebook, but I think if you just search "Living Nightmare League," it should pop up. It should pop up, um, and it will put the link in the bulletin. It's nice. the kind of thing where you can be as active or not active as you want on there. You can be in character if you want. It's however you want to do it. I kind of just did it so I could post, you know, reminders about you know free matches or this or that or you know promote. You know, Living Nightmare League stuff, promote Bronze Age stuff. So, yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a good idea. Yeah, I mean, uh, long time coming. You know, but, but again, it, like anything else, it just enhances uh, enhances the play. Uh, for you know, any new listeners, we are, uh, you know, if you want to join in on the action, uh, make your way over to the IWA's homepage at uh, playiwa.com. Uh, you'll find. Uh, you know, the IWA is riddled with leagues, but, you know, if you're definitely looking for uh, a, you know, horror-based uh, league with 18 and over uh, status, you know, c- come on in and, uh, yeah, bring bring your gore, bring your, uh, bring your bloodiest, because, uh, <laughs> oh, man, the, the things, I mean, I, I'm not going to pretend like I was here for the Fox Woman uh angle but that i mean that's one of those uh angles that drove me here and um it's one thing to go and and rip somebody's nuts off it it really is <laughs> like i i mean but and and i mentioned this before brandon with uh with other leagues how how the angle based play here is just phenomenal and and people are you know probably wondering it's like what do you mean what's going on it's like look the character went and ripped somebody's nuts off. And it's not like he just, you know, that was done. You know, no. He saved them 
and at the end of the year he gave them back to them like on a on an award like he he he, he awarded them their nuts back <laughs> at the end of the year and it's like yes like it, it it just it kept the angle going and and oh dude to this day i mean this i'm talking about an angle that happened almost two years ago and to this day i'm still you know talking about it because the angle is still going Oh, yeah. You know, the, 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 the Catfish gang here in the Living Nightmare League has gone through transformations. You know, Catfish Rob, you know, got a stadium, you know, dropped on him, went through more transformations. Uh, you know, the, you know, uh, the then uh, luchadores who, you know, were unfortunately the victims, you know, had, you know, it sent them insane. It sent them to a dark path, and it went. They went so dark that they transformed themselves into Sith lords, and literally have the dark side, you know, f- you know, force uh, guiding them now. And my goodness, the the madness, brother. I mean, I, I, I as uh, you know, those faithful fans uh, listening, uh, you know, poor Bigfoot, you know, the friendly uh, Sasquatch is just, you know, he was he was victimized this uh, past cycle, but. We'll get into trash talk. <laughs> we'll get into trash talk later. As, as, as you can tell, Brandon, I'm excited, brother. I'm I, I'm just rambling, brother. I'm like, phew, there's so much going on here, brother. Uh, so I, I'll tell you this: the obviously, you know, Commissioner Anderson mentioning that uh, about you know taking over the league. I was curious about it, but there are certain things that I kind of read. The Sith Lords. I've never been in a league with their manager before, to my knowledge. And uh, I, I dig their stuff, man. I look forward to getting some stuff going with him. Um, RoboCat is the character I like a lot. I, you're, you know, your trash talk. And the first time I read that one was awesome. And Catfish Rob also mentioning him. Uh, obviously, you're the one that told me the story about him, you know, his character ripping the other character's balls off. We kind of had him, you know, we kind of had Fox Woman come in the LSL briefly for like a little storyline where, you know, she was kind of like a non-playable character kind of deal. So obviously I want to get a, get a piece of uh, Fox Woman. So that might be a hint, <laughs> that, that might be a hint at where some of my trash talk is you going may, struggle. You, you better be so. careful because you may lose a piece. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> So, but yeah, but no, seriously, though, it's uh, it's cool. I, I I like the league, the monsters. It's something totally different. Never done anything like that, so that's gonna be cool. And uh, yeah, I mean, I and as uh, as we're here on the air, Brandon, let's uh, let, let's say it like it is. We we did uh, make an attempt at one point. Uh, I know uh, Sean was uh, commissioning. Well, no, excuse me. Let me step back. We all went to the superhero leagues with high expectations. Because of the, you know, we always talk about playing within the realm or within the bubble uh, or the theme of that league. You know, in the superhero league, we thought, hey, you know what? Has a lot of possibilities. We can go in there. We can get superpowers. We can do this. We can do that. And unfortunately, it it, it, it just didn't go the way we, we thought, you know. And uh, shout out to the, you know, superhero league. You know, we, you know, I'm crossing my fingers at, at some point it, it catches, uh, catches steam but i i like i said i had i had a cut back on my uh iwa play so i just had to you know find leagues that were already in in uh in full motion you know so but i think i think this is kind of similar to that absolutely and i think this actually works better because a lot of our characters that we had like in the superhero league and even from the because most a lot of them started in the mml also uh Basically, we it fits the whole supernatural vibe, but at the same time, I mean, none. Of, I I wouldn't say any of our characters were heroes at all. That's for sure. Um, <laughs> so I, I think I think this, and plus with being eighteen and older, I think uh, you know, I think this is uh, going to be even better. Yeah, I, I like I said, I I've already gotten glimpses of uh, stuff that's coming. I, like I said, we're not going to you know get here and start revealing everything. Uh, just a, you know, shout out to all the managers in the league. You know, this is, you know, our league. This is where we play. This is where we've chosen to play. We want to make this as fun for you as it is for us. As you can tell, you know, I, I get on here sometimes and I get giddy with some of the angles that we got coming on. I'm like, we're well, going to do what? Like, mm-hmm. like, no, wait a minute. Like, all right, cool. I got it. You know, and again, but we do these shows and, you know, 
we record, you know, to give you guys like the reviews as to what's coming, what's happening. But feel free to, you know, give us input like, hey, you know what, can you not say this on the show because we want to save it for the bulletins or, you know, can you can you say this so that we get ready for the next bulletin, you know, so. Give us your right. feedback as to what you want to hear on these shows. I know I, we do shows for other leagues. We, you know, every show we want to make it unique to that league. You know, uh, you know, I, I, I'm crossing my fingers that I stay on my schedule. I, I was able to get, you know, uh, our RWL show on, our commissioner side of the show on, and my goodness, there's just so much going on in the bronze that I, I, I got to stay. Uh, I mean, let's tell, let's tell the fans. I mean, we're recording here. I'm, I'm at, you know, early morning, and I know you just got off of work, so. You know, this is how much we, we love this IWA. <laughs> hey, you know, the funny thing, too, is you, people don't realize that if this show ends up being like a half hour or whatever it is, we've been already talking for longer than that, just brainstorming on different uh, things that, that are coming and everything. So, Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, and, and shout out to, you know, let's shout out to technology, man, for allowing allowing this, brother. But anybody, any manager listening, if you guys, you know, care to be on a show, you know, here on Interfed, whether it's a league show you know, we'll run it by the commissioner and, you know, see if we can get you on. Or if you just want to have, you know, your own show on with a little, you know, interview recap of to your IWA career, you know, reach out to me. I'm, you know, always, uh, always welcome new shows and, uh, you know, recaps and stuff. Yeah, but it, it, everybody's welcome to come on this show too. Nice. Gonna get, we're going to have a whole a, a Skype party and have all the monsters on. Yeah, try and get everybody on. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, happy Halloween, by the way, because by the time, you know, some of you guys are going to listen, it's going to be already Halloween. I know it's it. No, you know what? I'm going to put this up way before Halloween, so. You got a week, Hall- man. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Halloween, man. Come on. No, I'm, never, no, I'm not going to let it get to Halloween. <laughs> it'll, 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 it'll go right up onto YouTube right when we finish. But um, before I forget, because I, I know I, I want to get all into the commissioner stuff, but let's get these, uh, let's get these champions their, uh, their fair due, because lots going on here. Uh, this is uh, fall. 2019 living nightmare league nightmare champ no oh, let, let me ask this before i are, are you going to rename the titles or are we keeping these titles that no we're going to keep them for now nice I, okay I there's a lot there's a lot i don't want to change because there's a lot i like about this i mean commissioner anderson or commissioner pratt actually uh he did he did a good job nice. uh, he just didn't he just didn't see eye to eye with balan you know <laughs> but uh yeah no i, I like the titles Oh, nice. Yeah, let's just keep the title name. So our nightmare champion. Oh, man, back on top. Jason Voorhees, 13. Uh, paranormal champion. Foxwoman Santana. Amityville champion. Back in effect. Welcome back. Sinister Bagul. Missed you, brother. Yeah, he's a, he's a good character. I'm glad he's back. That, uh that's a nice character to have when you're a commissioner for somebody like him. Oh yeah, Sinister Bagul is definitely a a keeper. All right, new one here. Uh, Crystal Lake champion. The Physician? Fo- fo- I can't Phoenician? Yeah. Oh, I know. Know. That's yeah. why I was I, that's why I figured I let you read the champion. I saw some of like, these, you know, the <laughs> skeesis guys and uh, skeesis guys. Yeah, like, yeah, let's like, flip hey, slaughter the name. <laughs> <laughs> a shout out. Uh, I I don't even know who that. Now I gotta go look up. Oh man, they're new. Son of, yeah, they are new. Yeah, yeah, doing well, brother. From the battle royal as well. Brought that title home. Uh, Elm Street champion Michael Myers. Nice DOD doing it. Yeah. Black Lagoon champion, the patient, patient Z. Uh, Camp Arwak champion. Oh, this guy. I got some trouble with this guy. Yeah, pick on Bigfoot. Darth Jagoku. Yeah. All of a sudden, big. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that later. God, I'm coming for you, Darth Goku. Careful, man. The Transylvania <laughs> champion, my buddy, my friend, Darth Ikari. I like this Ikari. Ikari is better than Jigoku, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> A Haunted Hill champion, Swamp Monster. Sleepy Hollow champion, the American werewolf. Nice. Now we got another werewolf here. A lot of werewolves. Uh, it's about a sad time of the year. Right. Salem Slot champion. Oh, Charles Manx the Worthy. Huh. Yep. The Crypt Champion, Angel Caido Dos. Still undefeated. Nice. Uh, Apocalypse Tag Team Champion, Foxman Rob. And Blade the Vampire Hunter. 
Nice. I don't even know one vampire here in the league, so I wonder who he's hunting. Hmm. Maybe he's killing them all. Oh, don't say that. That's why you don't see him. He's doing his job. Must be a good vampire hunter then. Uh, Doomsday TV Tag Team Champion, The Patients, Patient Z and Y. Uh, Slaughterhouse Six-Man Champion, Rawhead Rex, Jacob Goodnight, and Wolfman Joe. Shout out. And uh, no strangers to the six-man scene, Nightmare TV Champions, Darth, Lords, Yoru, Jigoku, and Ikari. Now, uh, question of the day is... uh, do we still have commissioner champions? We do. We do. So we're we're yeah. we're leaving we're leaving the majority of the structure in place. Is that safe to? Oh yeah, yeah. It's gonna most of it's gonna stay in place, you know, for now and everything. Um, kind of where last cycle ended with uh, Pratt getting uh, captured and the pale man getting uh, his head chopped off. Uh, this cycle is gonna pick up kind of right. Right after that happened, as far as like the commissioner story and everything like that, it's gonna pick up right from there. Nice. So we're not we're not traveling in time or anything like that. It's just gonna be kind of right after that. All right, here we go. So we still so, yeah, got we're our definitely uh, keeping the commissioner champions. And so uh, Terror Tag Team Champions, uh, Jason Voorhees and Michael Myers. Yep. Uh, Colossal Champion. Oh, dude, those guys are. You know, you know what, and and no disrespect to any anybody else in the league. I mean, I think you know one of the shout outs and uh, you know props I give to to their manager is uh, the way they incorporate their titles and their title shots and their pay per view shots coming up within their trash talk. I mean, not that you have to in your trash talk, but their manager right. just does a very good job about you know, and within it, you know, within a big old horror scene, you know, him slaughtering something and then. Next thing you know, he just throws a little, like, yeah, that's why we're tired champs. <laughs> that's why we're Terry Tag champs. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, man. Uh, speaking of trash talking, uh, the Colossal title. Swamp yes. Monster. We got some trash talk from Swamp Monster. Holy, I mean, I thought it was going to rain on, uh, on me here in L.A. I'm like, oh, he's talking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. Shout out, Mr. Swamp Monster. Colossal champion. Uh, Anarchy champion. No, oh, this guy, man. Why no, can't no, he no. chop? Why can't he You're chop right. this guy's head off? Not, not the pale man. We like the pale man. <laughs> ah, Doctor Frankenstein. No, hang on, hang on. Doctor Frankenstein. He was the champion. Well, well, actually, we can get to the pay per view results in a little bit. So okay, okay. Oh, surprise, surprise. Uh, underworld, uh, underworld uh, champion Darth Akuma. But we got some changes now. Um, are, are we revealing uh, pay per view winners? Is that is that where we're where we're going next? Yeah. All right, brother. Go ahead. G- yeah, give us the load. The pay per view. The pay per views already happened, so we might as well. Uh, if they can read it in the bulletin, I don't think we're uh, spoiling anything. But we'll go spoiler alert. Just just in, in case. just in case you haven't got your bulletin now. Now, uh, I mean. The pay-per-view matches were signed, sealed, and sent into uh, the IWA, so they are within the bulletin. That's why they are within the like, bulletin. Yep. Yeah. If if you wanted to go to the you know playiwa.com site and look up the PDF or the HTML, you can definitely you know uh, shout out shout out to uh, I don't, I don't want to say his name on air, but you know one of the IWA uh, managers. You know, one time when I had him on air, he's all like, he's all, I was like, I, I saw no point in the HTML. And and PDF, I'm like, what the hell is the point of the of the HTML and the and the PDF? Like, well, within the HTML uh, version on the website, you can actually use your browser's find or search to like quickly go through it. So well, once he brought that to my attention, I was like, you can do what? Like, oh, this is no okay. That and it, then it made sense at that point. I'm like, okay, this is this is why uh, this is a, a nice uh, commissioner tool. So do all you. Uh, prospecting uh, commissioners out there just uh it's something else uh you know it's more tools uh, that you can use to make life easier make life oh yeah all righty commissioner so we had uh chamber of horrors 
Yes. Uh, Barnabas Slade and Claude Holiday. Let me butcher some names now. Took on Skekak and Skexo. Nice. And uh, they defeated uh, Barnabas and Claude. So they uh, big tag team win right there for the newcomers. Uh, next up was Swamp Monster versus Bigfoot. Swamp Monster defeated Bigfoot. What? How, how did Bigfoot get involved in that? Sounds like Bigfoot had a rough month. Yeah, man. That guy's always getting himself into trouble. <laughs> yeah, you know. There's always next time. Uh, <laughs> Aiden Brimstone defeated Warblaze. Now, now uh, I, I mean, as you're saying these names, I, I recognize these names from other leagues because I know I've, I was, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much everywhere, and you know. But these guys are relatively new to the to the league as well, right? Yeah. So the reason they're fighting, they're actually uh, they're on the same side now. But the, this match was kind of signed before signed before that happened. Uh, so Warblaze is basically. A, he was a virtual virtual reality character inside of a video game, and uh, basically, there was some kind of glitch would happen where he would actually, you know, kill the people that were uh, he'd kill them in the game, and they would die in real life, kind of deal. Oh dang! And yeah, so him and Provis uh, found a way to get out of the game, um, and so they part of it was taking uh, Aiden's heart. So, uh, yeah, you know, you don't. You don't need the heart, right? Huh. Not, well, not in our league. Well, uh, well yeah, yeah uh, if you want to stay alive. <laughs> it's overrated. <laughs> Damn it. No. Living is overrated in the Living Nightmare League. It yeah. really is. You know. Right. And, and, that, and that being said, shout out to the Skeksis because they are for life, baby. For life. They got a cool t-shirt. Yep. Check, check the l website uh, for availability. <laughs> I love it. A little, so exp- little, ex- little expensive for their t-shirts, by the way. A little expensive. It is expensive, man. Ah, the monsters Reading got those. money. Right. So the terror tag title match did not happen. I think we talked about this on the Bronze Age show, but if nobody heard that, uh, so Bagul was inactive at the time, so he did not pick a partner, which, of course, he did, he did come back this cycle, picked the partner, but it was a little too late. So that match got canceled. But we'll see uh, Jason and uh, Michael are in the Elimination Chamber match later on in the show. So mm-hmm. then next up is the Anarchy title. Sinister Bagul, he came back at the perfect time, and he defeated Frankenstein to become the new Anarchy champion. What? Dude, you talk about, yes. like, right, I mean, my goodness. I mean, we all these, you know, the last couple of shows, and, you know, shout out to their manager. Like I said, we definitely had you in the back of our back of our mind, and we were like, where is he at? Where is he at? And little did we know he was waiting for that right moment. And he sure knows. Yeah. He knows how to do it, bro. My goodness. Yeah. And, 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 and hey, wait, hey, wait a minute. He wait a minute. The head in the box. I was just going to say that. And, and he still has that. Oh, man. This is, you know what? Always right around Halloween, you know, everything just goes. Well, I was going to say goes wrong, but goes right for the, for the Living Nightmare League. Because, uh, yeah, this is amazing. Right. I would uh, give him a little. See, I don't know who his manager is, but I would give him some advice that uh, he may want to think about using that before uh, the Bronze Age, the Bronze Conqueror title comes to the LNL. So maybe he could try and win the, because the Underworld Champion is the person that gets the shot at the Bronze Conqueror. So. Okay, now I got. Think, you might want to think about using that. I got. I gotta ask. I mean. Are we having another head in the box? Or can there be two oh. heads in in boxes waiting to be claimed? Uh, so, no, no. So here, here's the deal. So when I, uh, like I said, I would hear the little bits and pieces about the Living Nightmare League, you know, from you, and then when you kind of got close with, uh, you know, Commissioner Pratt, and uh, he, the head in the box is. This is an 18 older show. The head in the box is fucking genius. <laughs> w- without a doubt. That that is like the, the perfect equiv- equivalent of what the money in the bank should be. It's it's beautiful. That that was like one of my favorite things. I mean, I that, without a doubt. That's that's staying. But with that being said, before the next head in the box event, he's gonna have to cash that in. And I think we'll we'll ca- kind of probably use the same thing where you have like a year to cash it in. 
You know what oh. I mean? And what and what'll happen, I think, is if he doesn't use it between the now and that time, like if he was to go in at or I don't know, not so much if he goes inactive, but like uh, like I said, if he does not use it by that time, you know, maybe he'll just I'll sign I'll sign the match and he can use it, get his four point advantage. Because I don't want him to not he earned it. I don't want him to not get to use it. Obviously, if he's inactive, then that's totally different. But if he is active, he should get to use it. You know what I mean? So we'll now, make sure now, his doesn't ex- doesn't expire. But now, yeah, I, now, don't, uh, I don't want to have I don't want to have multiple heads, you know, circulating. You know, it's that's just it's unclean. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta, you know, you know, we worry about uh, the sanitary conditions here. In the- Absolutely. <laughs> Now, I'll, that was another one of those uh, living nightmare, uh, you know, jaw, jaw-dropping moments, man, because, you know, I'm, I was still relatively new to the league. Here I am trying to be all like, you know, because, of course, it's 18 and over. So I'm, you know, I'm bringing in my characters and I'm writing for them, trying to think I was like risky or, or like pushing boundaries. Then all of a sudden I get through the <laughs> to the match right up for head in the box. And I'm like, you know, the, the, to Back to give it a little background, uh, you know, uh, Reverend Boswell was the manager or 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 the person in charge of uh, the luchadores who was kind of like, you know, pulling the strings. But he was he was he was a dick, you know, plain and simple. He was a jerk, you know. So he was he was leading him the wrong way. And when he got it, I mean, he got it. I mean, it, monsters came from every which way and just boom, boom, cut them up into little, I mean, Fox woman ripped them to shred. Oh my goodness. But then when they cut off his head and it, it became the head for the head in the box later on, I was like, what just happened? <laughs> like it's genius. I'm, I'm like, my goodness, this is definitely the kind of league I want to stay in. And this is definitely the right kind of place for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah i mean and shout out to yeah. that uh to that write-up because uh you know i know the manager's still around it said he keeps uh keeps us well entertained with uh the madness man i mean and, and stuff like that you you can't do I, I you know we've mentioned this before because uh there there are dozens of leagues here in the iwa we got six great federations not every league lends itself to this kind of extreme you know goreness and extreme you know just uh, yeah it it's it's not the place for everybody but if you're if you're into the gore if you're i I mean oh man i think i think uh one of uh jason's uh trash talks one day i mean he was like or what and i and I'm, i'm drawing a blank right now but i i i know he just like he dressed. He dressed up, or oh man, I, and 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 I hate to, I hate to. So I'm not going to slaughter it. I'll go. I'll we'll, I'll bring that reference back. I'll, I'll reference that again because I want to go back and read it before I slaughter that trash like But yeah, I'm like I said, I'm a fan of Jason's TT. But I, I want to make sure I'm I'm saying the right thing before I just blab it out. But yeah, he always drops like those uh those twists in his trash talk where it's like, oh, what did he just do? Oh man, <laughs> yeah, but. Oh man, a lot a lot goes on here uh, in the trash talk that you definitely gotta take a second read through. Absolutely. All right, so back to that pay per view that we were talking about. Uh, Hell in a Cell match, Wolfman Joe taking on Morbius, and Morbius got the win over Wolfman Joe. Oh man, lucky, 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 <laughs> lucky, lucky to be alive, Joe, because you know Morbius will <laughs> not kill. Oh. No, he's peaceful. Yeah. You gotta uh, watch out for up, that blade. Gotta watch out for that blade guy right now. Yeah. So next up is one of your buddies, uh, Darth Jigoku. Uh, he defeated Foxman Rob. Ooh. That one. That one is a uh, rivalry for the IWA ages, right there. Those guys have gone through their fair share of. Uh, of transformation so i and, and that, i guarantee you that's not over because those two it's that bad blood brother it's like you know what until yeah. until you know eat they you can't i mean it's the living nightmare league it's not like you can just eliminate somebody the yeah right. not 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 that easy nope all right then the two main events of the show the elimination chamber which uh featured jason michael myers leatherface and then patience x y and z the winner of this 
gets a shot at the Anarchy title, which the new nice. champion is the Sinister Bagul. Uh, great match, but in the end, it was Michael Myers. Yeah, Michael Myers that came out on top. Nice, nice. Bagul versus is Yep, yeah, and we'll find out. Uh, that's something Balan's going to talk about. Uh, is when that match is going to take place. Now, um, now, now, um, it, uh, we're still trying to keep uh, pay per view every four or five uh, cycles. Is that yeah. kind of the okay? Yeah. Perfect. So the the next one, I'm I'm very bad at remembering like what all the extra like you know the holiday cycle and the you know just the different like dog days. I, I I'm terrible at remembering like when all those take place. But basically, yeah, five cycles from now. So we just had cycle 60 was the pay-per-view. 65 will be the next pay-per-view. Nice. So feel free to start building to that now. And then in the main event of the pay-per-view, the Underworld title, the champion, Darth Akuma, taking on Dr. Frankenstein. And the dominant streak of Darth Akuma continues. What? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you're new to the league, look no further than these two factions right here. Uh, Darth Lords and, you know, Frankenstein and the Patients have, you know, uh, and not to take anything away from Capish and, and his gang, but these two have just been on top of their game, you know, since, I, since I've been here. I mean, I, I don't know how they do it, but yeah, they... They sure know how to represent themselves very well. The Sith are nasty, man. No doubt about that. Yeah. And and still evolving is from what I'm seeing. Right. Now now uh this uh haunted grounds contest that we had, it's it should be coming down to the end, right? We're down to our last couple of uh last yep, couple last, of cycles. Last few cycles. Um and like I said, we're still, still, that's still, we're still continuing that contest. Um, and someone, someone's uh, real close. Darth, Darth Yoru, two more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll see. It'd be nice to see because a lot of the times when you do contests like this, you end up uh, just kind of going with the winner who got the most. But it'd be nice to see somebody just do them all. That'd be, that'd be cool. Yeah. I mean, Patient X, uh, three more. Uh, yeah, those two, the, those two are the ones that I, I guess are, co- you know, coming down to the finish right now, so. Right. I know, I know what, I know what Squeaky and RoboCat are going to do. They're going to, looks like, uh, the Salem's, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just going to keep, I'm going to flood the Salem's just to make it even harder. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys, though. You're the best. <laughs> Tell you what, you, you, have, you have a way of making people hate you on these podcasts, man. What? 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 Oh, man. I, I know you're very, you're very popular on the UNL show. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's the love. It's the love. Just, you know, you gotta, right. you gotta make your IWA lives that much more difficult, guys. You know, that's just the love your way. Right. Because look at Squeaky. Love. Look at Squeaky. He had got the whopping one. Yay. Did I get one? <laughs> no, I think I, did I, get, I think I got more than one, but oh, well. Nah, you got time. Yeah. It's that RoboCat. You can, yeah. You can find a way to win multiple titles a cycle. You'll be good to go, man. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. But hey, so speaking of love, we got to just shout out to all the managers in the league because – we had a mind blowing 134 cards this cycle, which is insane. Wow, that is nuts. I mean, I I, I know uh, people listening, you know, may not know, you know, I mean, a good a good elite league has 50 league, you know, 50 cards per cycle, because that's oh, yeah. that's the that's like if you're if you're hitting 50, you're considered an elite league. Yeah. So to almost triple that, that's amazing. That's insane. That's like kind of, you know, like the unknown wrestler league does like an insane amount because everybody's in there, you know, building up their, uh, building up their records. And I mean, that's crazy that we would be up there, you know, kind of with, like, with guys with the elites like that, which you, cause you expect them to be, 
they have a ton of matches, you know, but that's, that's awesome. And the cool thing about that too is uh, Commissioner Pratt, one of the things he did awesome was uh, he got some of these deals from uh, the IWA. So all the champions this cycle get 10 free matches. So, so now, uh, I mean, talking, talking outside of the, outside of the box for a little bit, uh, Kim is going to allow us to keep the incentives at, at, Safe to say? Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, that, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I mean, it, like I mean, for, for, for new managers that are in the IWA, if you know, it is very hard to start a new league. Don't, don't think it, it happens overnight. It is, uh, I, I always say this cause I, I had my, uh, my, my attempt at running a league and I wasn't the most patient. <laughs> I, w- I was very demanding, yeah. and I, I kind of blew blew my lid a couple times. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, well. but you did a hell, you did a hell of a job though, because what you call it? Uh, that's what got me and Sean going when we came back to the IWA was uh, being in your league that you were commissioning. So, oh, it, it is it is tough. Like I said, shout out to all those IWA uh, commissioners out there, because of course we do this for the love of the game. It's not like you know we're, we're getting paid by the IWA, you know, but yeah. You know, we do it because you know we enjoy the you know that that style and like in in this case, you know, it just it worked out well. You know, to allow this kind of a a transition from one commission to the other without without really skipping a beat too much, man. This is, right. is what I'm is what I'm seeing right now. And I'll prom- I promise I'll wait at least two cycles before I start asking for shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a whole two cycles. You're the- I'll wait two. <laughs> nice. Then, then all then all bets are off, but. But, you know, I should rephrase that, though. It's all singles champions get the 10 free matches. So tag and six do not, but all the singles champions get 10 free matches this cycle. So make sure you use them. I will we'll post reminders on the Facebook page uh, as we get closer to the deadline. Just so You, you know what? We're not going to leave the tag and six-man uh, uh, champions without nothing. You know, I guarantee you I will sign all my guys against you. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna go for those belts finally. Uh, Bigfoot gotta have a belt somewhere behind. <laughs> <laughs> you got a nice new tattoo, by the way. You got an amazing. That's what I hear. Uh, yeah, got a great tattoo. Not an ink tattoo, though, right? Oh no, 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 no! Not one of those Hannah tattoos. No, no, no. It's a you no. know, yeah. It's permanent. Hey, definitely gonna wear it with pride. Absolutely. Oh man. <laughs> So speaking of free matches, in addition to the Colossal Champion still getting his five free matches, in addition to the 10 free matches to everybody for having over 100 cards, we also have the finals of the Commissioner Tournament, the Commissioner Challenge, and it was down to Wolfman Joe and Darth, Yar- Darth Yaru, and uh, this was as close as it possibly gets. Um, but in the end, Wolfman Joe comes out and he gets twenty five free matches. Oh my goodness! The once no one, you know what? I was wondering why Morbius was able to get one up on him. He was he was already beaten down, you know, by Darth Yoru. <laughs> that hey, that makes what? that makes sense. Yeah, you got to yeah, take advantage of it, right? Hey, you know Morbius, man. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> he, he'll take it wherever he can get it, man. As long as it's alive. As long as it's alive. <laughs> so then we we talked a little bit earlier about so we we kind of built this up over the last uh, few where uh, one of my superhero league characters, Avogado, Balan was actually wrestled one of my wrestlers in the superhero league, and uh, the storyline was kind of that uh, Avogado was kind of a slave to him. And basically, in order to get his freedom back, or at least so he kind of thinks, to get his freedom back, he was going to have to, you know, help Balan, you know, get some more souls. So that's when he kind of made this deal with Pratt, and he basically, you know, screwed Pratt over in the end, which that's all in this bulletin. Uh, He screwed Pratt over, and now, you know, Pratt's soul, and, you know, Pratt's kind of not in the best of condition right now, but... There'll be more with that. You, you know uh, what? You're. You know what? I heard the music that you have playing. You got. You know, dude. He's like at a Ritz Carlton, if you ask me, bro. 
<laughs> send the TV up loud, I'm sure, you know? Yeah, dude. The Pale Man, like, rest in peace to the Pale Man. I mean, he had the chance to serve Valen, and, you know, he didn't appreciate second chances, so he got the decapitation action. So the Pale Man is no longer with us. Uh, and pretty much anybody well, else Hey, if I know anything that. about this league, brother, is... Oh yeah, no. I was I was just saying, but oh, right. I go, if I know anything about if I know anything about this league, I know these monsters got a, a weird way of coming back sometimes. So, oh yeah. Well, any any uh, any of Pratt's uh, followers, I'm sure at this point have been slaughtered by Balan's uh, forces. So we'll, <laughs> oh no. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll 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 find more more about that as we come into the next uh, the next cycle or tour. Um, but. Like I said, that more to find out there. Um, something I will announce is we are going to have a monthly show now. Uh, I'll I'll hold off on revealing the name, you know, till the bulletin. But this will be our monthly show. This will be where we have title matches. It's not going to be the kind of thing where I'm just going to throw random matches up there. I kind of want it all to mean something to the current feuds and the storylines. I want to kind of position it to where each of the titles kind of get defended on these shows every few months. Um, and we, we kind of build to that. It's all going to be building up to these things. So that's that's the plan for that. So we'll find out more about that when Balon reveals all that. And then uh, as far as the Bronze Age goes, which we're all excited about, the Bronze Age, the UNO, the RWL, and the LNL, uh, Susie Moon, we talked about this on the Bronze Age show. She's the first ever Bronze Conqueror. That's the name of our Bronze Age champion. Uh, she will now kind of be a touring champion, kind of like how in the NWA where Flair would go to the different territories and defend the titles or Harley Race and so on and so forth. Uh, her first stop is going to be now, as you see, each month we get these Bronze Age bulletins. We just had number three. At number five, she stops in the UNL, and she'll challenge the United Nations champion, whoever it is, nice. when she when she arrives. Two cycles later is when she comes to the LNL, or whoever whoever wins that match comes to the LNL. I don't want to discredit any of the UNL stars. Uh, they will get their ass kicked when they come to the LNL. Make no mistake about it. As as uh, as an, as the RWL unfortunately found out, because man, those monsters had no like you oh, talk yeah. about like not giving a you know flying you know what, yeah they they definitely didn't give man they ripped the I, I felt I mean it did lead to some uh, some RWL um, cast death. and crew yeah it, it, death and 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 resurrections and <laughs> resurrections because it looks like. But... Uh, yeah, I don't yes, want to get too gonna, much into the trash talk, but yeah, yes. it's just. I was oh. gonna say, the R a death in the RWL is a gain for the LNL, because we we just acquired an, a major talent. So we'll leave it at that for now. When we do the trash talk show, we'll we'll talk more about that. Yeah. But like I said, bulletin seven or uh, episode seven, whatever you want to call it, of uh, the Bronze Age. That's when the LNL. Right now, the Underworld champ. So the Underworld champion obviously is our main title. That will be the person who gets the title shot. Uh, right now, it's Darth Akuma. I will tell you that he will defend the title one time before that match for the Bronze Age title happens. So there is the potential or, that it or, could be somebody or, else, or more if uh, Sinister Bagul decides to cash in. Or, or absolutely, absolutely. So it could be a couple more times. I will say this, like. If I was sending Darth Akuma out there right now, I would have the utmost confidence that he will kick the shit out of anybody from either of the other leagues and bring the bronze conqueror title home to the LNL. And if he loses, he's so dominant that whoever beats him, you, you think they're going to lose? Absolutely not. So mm. that's how confident I am that the bronze, bronze conqueror is going to be the LNL. Mm. It, it's it, it, I mean the number of managers behind each of these leagues is tremendous. I mean, so you got a probably one of the largest pools, you know, cycle in, cycle wow. out, going going after these titles. So 
I mean, I think that alone is what's going to make it uh, as prestigious as as any. Between the three leagues, just the amazing characters that are in all three. I mean, it's just it's it's mind blowing. Such awesome characters, and it, and the fact that like we will be intermingling all of them with this Bronze Age for a different because the Bronze Age is going to have pay per view events, right? I don't think that's a surprise. Um, the fact that we can intertwine all these characters from different leagues and stuff is going to be cool. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, at, at Crossover Collision, I mean, that reveal was probably one of the most. Uh, I mean, we talk, you know, I say jaw dropping, you know, probably every other, you know, paragraph, you know, nowadays. But yeah, I mean, that was one of those moments where, I'll be honest with you, I was, I was outside of the IWA loop with everything going on. So when I saw that, I'm like, you guys did what? Wait, 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 uh, what's going on here? Like, oh, what? Oh yeah, good times, <laughs> good times. Like that, that, that gave me that uh, extra kick in the nuts to cut. Like, get on your, get on your feet, private. Like, get your ass back in gear. Like. Oh yeah, good times, bro. Yeah, this is the perfect time to be part of our bronze group of leagues. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's uh, we, so we, much uh, stuff I, planned. There's actually, so we we had the one event right where we crowned the first bronze conqueror champion. Now there's already another event, which is called what, the big one. Nice, nice name. <laughs> uh. And that is coming. I don't remember exactly which cycle it is, but it's coming. And yes. you, you can take I, a look. I, 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 I was going to say I was I, I was going to say something, but I had to catch myself. I was like, "Wait a minute, that's not going to yeah. that's well, not going to go over." <laughs> <laughs> even so though this is the, yeah. even though this is eighteen and over, that still wouldn't have. Uh, I'm going to be like, <laughs> "Oh yeah, slow down there, Phil. Slow down there." Yeah. Well, from the September cycle, it was every active wrestler. And the RWL, the LNL, and the UNL are all in this event. So, wow, that's a lot. Man, of that, that 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 name is definitely uh, fitting. Yeah, the big one. So big. it'll be the first Bronze Age contest, and the winner will receive fifteen dollars in IWA credit to use in one of the Bronze Age leagues. Nice. Yeah, there you go. 107 active wrestlers. Oof. Man, you guys definitely know how to, you know, stop a show and just, you know, I'm, I'm over here like, it's like stuttering John, brother. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. And, and, you know, that's probably why, because, I mean, and this is uh, another re- uh, friendly reminder, you know, don't forget to check out. I mean, I don't get bulletins. Right. I completely forgot that you guys are doing this Bronze Age, uh, 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 magazine yes. because it's it's posted on the iwa uh page so you know if, if 